Hello TCS experience. Today I am to give you available information and most of the coaching centers share suspended infiltration for money. But here you are getting everything free of cost. However, I do need one thing. Nothing is free in the world. And the main thing that I need it is your attention. And the aspirants who badly need such kind of advice and information, I request you just to hook, just get yourself hooked to my YouTube channel and listen to my words. It will be of very much useful to you. And another thing I must remind you that in this video I am going to analyze the last year question paper which will just accelerate your studies in order to pave your success. Another thing uh, for mains, that is TCS mains, 800 word question papers, I shall give you some tips and marks distribution so that you can prepare yourself. Okay, now prelims question paper analysis, previous years question paper analysis and uh, you know it very well that the new syllabus got introduced only the last year and this year after declaration of result I have studied the question paper and the little research just uh, made it clear how see the question paper is set particularly a prelims examination now you see most of the students are thinking what to do then shall we have to prepare for prelims or directly skip to the mains or we shall continue both the exams altogether I, I, shall, I shall suggest you regarding that, but first of all, let me analyze the question paper. See, in the last year question paper, English part, English part, you know, it is a total 30 marks question paper. In 30 marks, the segmentation I am showing you, preposition 4 marks, article 4 marks, synonym 4 marks, antonym 4 marks, idiom 4 marks, and error correction 4 marks, and uh, word arrangement 3 marks, and comprehension, short comprehension 3 marks and in total it summed up to 30 marks now gk paper now gk paper you see it is quite mind boggling and most of the students they just uh, retired to darkness what to do with gk what, where from we have to begin where from we have to end remember it is civil service examination there is nothing to begin there is nothing to end and you have to keep on preparing yourself still a guideline of the teacher or like myself one good for nothing you you were See, you can follow it so that you can prepare yourself and uh, you can get a little ray of inspiration. That is what my motto is. Now, I am coming to the subject again, history. You see, from history question, you will get 20 marks. Geography, 24 marks. And quality plus econom economics, you will get uh, 11 marks. General science and environment, uh, you will get uh, in total uh, 40, uh, see, 14 plus 16 equal to 30 marks. History then uh, Tripura, Northeast, this and that you will get 14 marks, current affairs, Northeast you will get 13 marks, international you will get 10 marks, and again Northeast uh, I have seen that uh, 2 marks, in total Northeast 15 marks, international 10 marks, and mathematics, okay, maths and reasoning also, see reasoning, for reasoning what you will have to do, reasoning, see coding, from coding I have seen that 4 marks worth questions were asked in coding, and word missing, this one is a 2 marks, and direction 2 marks, blood relation 2 marks, and blood relation 2 marks, yes, another is a date related questions 1 mark, series 2 marks, and analogy, it is a 2 marks, and arranging in order, or logical reasoning, it is 2 marks, okay, and then miscellaneous, 3 marks, and okay, what man out? See, that is what one out. It is also one mark. One question is asked from that one. And in total, we have given 20 marks calculation. And now come to mathematics. Mathematics from fraction, you will have one question. One question. And uh, what problem? Or they say it is division. Division. See what the, from that you will get one question. And then the square root one, one. That is number system. It comprises of number system. Okay, percentage one question. And uh, another is a profit loss and discount. Two questions are actually profit loss and discount. This is the highest number of questions in any arithmetic chapter. Now, 
<coughs> another is uh, SI or simple interest one one question then angles of octagon that is geometry basic geometry two dimension geometry then area then circumference ratio and proportion okay i am telling you the segregation i am sorry i forgot it then octagon only one question area one question circumference one question circumference of circle i must remind you and ratio and proportion one question another is you see this one is average one question then train <coughs> from train one question and digit c2 digit number uh, unit place tens place like that one question and it also uh, falls in the category of number system and then cir compound interest one question in total 15 question worth marks distribution you have got now you see for in order to just be a high flyer in this examination particularly part of this one prelims examinations you have to focus on gk mathematics and reasoning and english it is i must say the english paper is lenient or easy but don't underestimate it if you remain focused and keep practicing then in this paper also you will get good marks and good marks means what is although the mark is not either added but it will just help you to qualify the examination and will just uh, <coughs> take you to the mains that is your dream okay now come to mains in mains there will be four gs papers then in total uh, you will have in total you will have 800 marks questions and within 800 marks you will get 200 marks objective type questions now you see objective type the introduction to of, of objective type questions in the civil service examination it is nothing but an extra privilege to the students who cannot remember so many things that is who cannot mark up easily that is for them it will be quite easy that is you just uh, write the correct answer and then get the marks like whatever you get in mathematics okay now five marks questions you will get 13 eight number of questions in total 190 marks the two marks question 10 number of questions will be there two marks 20 marks and 10 marks six questions 60 marks and 12 marks five questions in total 60 marks and 14 marks five questions 70 marks and it sum up to 600 and now you just add 200 of objective marks questions and then you are getting in total 800 in in viva there will be 100 mark questions and I hope you qualify the prelims examination and prepare yourself nicely for the mains examination, get it qualified. And after that when it will be time for Viva, I shall help you just to get groomed, just to get be fluent in this, just answering Viva questions. All the best students, all the very, very best. And I must not tell you to subscribe it because you must be very much competitive minded. Don't share it because if you share it, your number of competitors will be more and more. Anyway, I must be one unsung hero in your heart. That is enough. And that is, that is what I want from you. Okay? Okay, all the best. All the best. Offer, offer. Yes, eh? Skin lock you, this is. Hmm?